Tanmi, thank you so much for joining us. You and me had a you know fairly interesting conversation a few days back over pizza, where I ate the pizza and you didn't, which is why you know you're looking good today. So uh, welcome to uh, a, a very candid chat that I wanted to have with you. So where am I speaking to you? Are you in India or Dubai? Uh, first of all, thanks so much, uh, Raji, for uh, talking to me, and it was always great to catch up with you. I'm uh, calling in from uh, Dubai, and okay. I was uh, in India a few weeks back, just back in Dubai. Okay, fantastic. So you know, Sunny, let's start off with the fact that you now have a release of a new phone, the Nokia G twenty one. A very exciting prospect. There are things that you've done very, very right with that phone. Let's start off from there because for a while we haven't had Nokia smartphones that came in and created euphoria and excitement. So tell us what's new about this Nokia G twenty one. Why should the customer and the consumer be excited? Yes, so thanks so much for asking me about that. So the Nokia G twenty one is a mid range device. It's designed for story creators, not necessarily story tellers, but also story creators. It boasts of a fifty megapixel triple camera with AI imaging, uh, which can take uh, professional looking photos and uh, uh, also great pictures with advanced low light capabilities. So. uh in case of night time or low light uh conditions it takes great imaging then it has 3 days of battery life with 18 watts fast charging so if a story creator is somehow away from a charging station and somehow can't charge the phone the phone has got his or her back right so amazing from a camera as well as battery capabilities then it has a 6 and a half inch fluid screen with 90 hertz refresh rate and it has oso audio so therefore it can uh, take very good quality uh, videos as well so this is about the hardware right and we also have a unique uh, design where you know the side camera design uh, with nano textures and a very slim 8.5 mm thickness inspired from our nordic roots so right. this is around the hardware but even on software uh, at this uh, mid range price the phone comes with a clean os so very honest device no ad so we can commit to our fans that over the lifetime of the device we won't have any ads or any uh, skin on the device and then we also promise 2 years and two operating system upgrades and 3 years of monthly security updates that's 36 security updates that's the best in the lifetime i mean that's more than twice what uh, any other phone offers in its lifetime right no samit i think the phone is looking very interesting and it is generating uh, a lot of excitement out here but you know let's try and define the nokia or as we all like to call it the new nokia how do you now differentiate yourself from the other brands in play in the indian market the indian market you know the super aggressive always insane always crazy competitive market right so who is nokia in this market how do you where have you placed yourself what's your brand how do you differentiate is your ecosystem predominantly feature phones and then smartphones or smartphones and feature phones how is nokia described internally and then to the customer yes so uh, two points here uh, rajiv first is what is nokia and how are we differentiated from our competitors and why should anybody buy nokia what's right. in it for you right mm -hmm. that's one and secondly what's our ecosystem what's our business like in india so first let's come to the uh, initial point and i completely agree with you so india market is one of the biggest in smartphone as well as feature phones globally and one of the most competitive market uh, globally uh, in this uh, in this segment and very very commoditized very mm -hmm. commoditized where people are looking at specs and price and feature and price price and comparing whether this is 2 gb ram 3 gb then two camera versus three camera or 16 megapixel versus 24 megapixel 64 gb 128 gb and what is the price and therefore buying a phone in a very transactional manner wherein right. this is the price how can i buy it's almost like buying a commodities like buying shopping in a vegetable market and we are keen that the shoppers move away from that and not because we don't value the money that a person is paying but because we believe 
that a person needs to look at what he or she gets in the lifetime of the device so for example what let's take talk of a competitor device you buy a device and then you start getting bombard, bomb, bombarded with pop ups or ads right uh, on your ui or after some time let's say after a few months or after one year you see that your device is hanging or it is becoming low, slow or the battery is not working out right and that's where you are then forced to change your device you see that while you bought a very good device at that time what you thought but then now the device is becoming obsolete and you are forced to change a device this is how the game of our competitors is the way we put position ourselves is that you buy a nokia device maybe at a slightly expensive price initially right but then you get two years of operating system upgrade just like g21 so you so today if you are buying on android 11 or android 12 you get the next two operating system of android and all the ai based innovations that are happening in this space those come to your device after you have bought the device and finally we have uh, launched some audio accessories so we have a ecosystem of devices including the feature phone smartphone you know smartphone which are the very good smartphone for entry into the smartphone category for a very strong subscriber base of feature phone users that we have and then moving on uh, we have the tablets as well as the accessories as companion products right okay no interesting i think when you put it all together but you know in some ways you are saying that you're expecting the indian consumer to have this maturity to be able to say that look i invest in a nokia today maybe i spend a little bit more i ignore the spec war because i want something that will last me for 2 3 years so you know while i understand that this is what the market should perform like uh, as of now Uh, that maturity is coming but it's not totally out there so your main strength seems to be your offline distribution in retail how do you define it is nokia an offline player or an online player because these are dramatically different in terms of the kind of consumers that consume your product yes yes and again ex- excellent point uh, rajiv and uh, you know that in the, there are a lot of consumers both in offline and online uh, space and we are largely an offline player Uh, we have presence in over a hundred thousand stores in India, right from the metro cities to tier three, tier four towns, and even in villages. So these uh, we have uh, presence. We have a very strong distribution network, over a thousand care centers across India. And what's unique and what we have started during pandemic is that we have complementary pick up and drop across thousands of pin codes in India. So if you need some support on your device. uh you can just uh, log in a request and we'd be very happy to pick up your device uh look at what is required to be done and uh give it back to you also we have a unique uh unique concept which is not there from any of our competitors in smartphone in our c series devices which is the entry devices entry level devices we offer a replacement guarantee right which means that if you need some support on your device because of some hardware issue that you are facing we do not repair your phone but we replace your phone right so you can go to your nearby store from where you bought or from your care center and we have arrangement where we offer a replacement to your device rather than a repair and that same on the feature phone so very very strong presence in the hardware uh, in the offline space but also in the online space we are presence with all the key uh, online uh, partners as well as our own store which is nokia.com so if some of our fans are keen to buy our products online those are also available uh, for them to buy as well right okay great that sounds very interesting so now let me ask you the question that almost every indian would want to ask and you know nokia and the connection with india has been one that has been for years and years and years you know nokia the brand the most recognized brands in the country but the new nokia how important is india for nokia in their overall global strategy so to uh, to summarize uh, india is a very very important market for our uh, fans and for our consumers and we'll continue to work on getting devices and phones which are tailor made for our fans in india which are addressing the needs and are relevant to our fans in india but also our focus like i said is on making india a destination 
for uh, sourcing and manufacturing capabilities not only for uh, making in india for india but also making in india for the world and uh, truly align to our uh, honorable prime minister's vision of atmanirbhar bharat no fantastic samit you know i from this conversation with you once again i get that feeling that you know there is a special bond and relationship with nokia the brand evokes a lot of warmth it's not just nostalgia that is what it used to be it does evoke a lot of warmth that this is a brand that seems to get that a consumer's needs are not only about the highest spec or you know it's only about a spec war this is a brand that cares and you know some of the things you spoke about uh, you know pick up and drop a replacement of a phone rather than repair uh, the love for india the fact that you are exporting from india which is a very important thing so thank you so much for speaking with us and samita i look forward to you and me catching up very very soon and i look forward to all the other super exciting things we're going to have from your own ecosystem all the devices that come out in this year see you soon Thanks so much, Chair Rajiv, for talking to me, and uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot to all your viewers for watching, and look forward to more interactions. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.